Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel, Law Jurist Dr. Pramod Varmai. Friends, today I am before you for a particular topic and that is the air pollution. Now, air pollution is one of the important topics uh, which is can be discussed at a length. But today I will be highlighting some of the major issues regarding the air pollution and therefore in this particular context, I want to tell you some things regarding air pollution. So, first point in this is that, uh, how will you define air pollution? Now, air pollution can be defined by any contamination of air, wherein we will find any visible or invisible visible particle or a gas found in the air, which is having the particular composition of the air. Now you know as air is a mixture of gases and when air is a mixture of gases it is made up of all different types of gases like nitrogen, phosphorus, sulfur, carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide and all these things regarding to the particular aspect. Now in this particular thing first point you should understand that how the air pollution can be measured. Now, the Ministry of Environment and Forest, Ministry of Environment and Forest and Climate Change has given some of the idea regarding how this air pollution can be checked out and how this air pollution can be measured in the particular quantity. Now, for this, uh, very importantly, you must understand that is there is a, one major which can, we can select for the uh, counting the air pollution wherein you will find that there is a, a air quality index. So different cities have different air quality index and this index has to be uh, has to be measured for the uh, presence of the particular air. Now here there are also some of the important aspects that many gases, many gases uh, they directly hamper the particular health and therefore this health have to be, uh, these indicators have to be taken care of. Now here, the major pollutants you all know, that is the carbon monoxide, sulfur dioxide, nitrogen dioxide, particulate matter and the ground uh, level, that is the ozone which is there in the atmosphere. Now, the major gas which is harmful for the health is sulfur dioxide, which is liberated from the chimney directly. Now, when you are liberating it from the chimney, it is in very much harmful to the particular health. Now, next uh, important dangerous gas is nitrogen dioxide, which causes directly the lung infections, the infection that is related to the lungs and the lungs part. And therefore, it is directly hampering the respiratory system of a human being. Now, here also very important is that the particulate matter that there are different particulate matters present in the air. Means what? The dust particles which are directly present in the air and that will enter into the human body and that will also create more problems regarding the health. Now, these all things uh, you have to control by some or other means. Now, in this particular aspect also, you must be very understanding that the smog is also one of the important aspect wherein you will find it is harmful to the particular human body. Now, these all things can be having a various types of effects on the human body. Say for example, uh, these problems directly or indirectly related to the respiratory problems or the bronchial problems. Say for example, asthma is very common, you all know. And when asthma is being taken into consideration, uh, I think 20-25% of the population, Indian population is being uh, having this worst type of disease that is asthma. Now, the other problems are also there. Say for example, greenhouse effect, which is also very common seen in India. Again, there is a, one of the important problems regarding the global warming. So, global warming is also one of the problems becoming severe and severe day by day. And in this particular thing, now there is also an increase in the problem that is the ozone layer.
so ozone layer is also one of the important problems associated nowadays and again one of the major crucial problem is regarding the acid rain so acid rain is also one of the uh, problems which are which are being taken into consideration say for example this acid rain will directly have the impact on the crops also and the human body also so uh, some of the things you can have for the control of the air pollution that you try to minimize the vehicles because when and when the particular the vehicle is necessary then only you go for the vehicle otherwise don't go for the vehicle uh, driving so maximum use the particular bicycles which are very nicely used in the foreign countries okay so this has this has to be taken into consideration again there are many things which you can do to control the air pollution that you try to take the puc that is a pollution control free certificate from the rtos so that there will be less amount of pollution regarding the air pollution again when and when necessary then only uh, you have the use of vehicles so the main thing is that there must be minimization of the vehicles unless and until there is a minimization of the vehicles you cannot control the air pollution moreover uh, this air pollution can be controlled at various stages because rural areas will have less amount of air pollution whereas the urban areas will have the large amount of air pollution so uh, while taking day day to day care you have to control this type of pollution so friends if you are new to my channel please subscribe my youtube channel law jurist dr pramod wagmare and thank you for this patient hearing thank you one and all thank you